Today, I want to discuss a powerful technique for sequel tuning, one that can deliver a spectacular performance boost. Of course, here at Skill Builders, we understand that tuning sequel is a science, and we like to think that we are pretty good at it. But it does take time and skill. This is a technique that anyone can use. Sequel performance tuning is all about getting the correct cardinality estimates. These estimates drive the three critical decisions that the cost-based optimizer must make. The order in which to join tables, the method for joining the tables, and how to implement that method. Do you join emp to dept or dept to emp? Do you use a hash join or nested loop join? Are the tables to be accessed with scans or with indexes? Getting these decisions right requires accurate cardinality estimates. Oracle's history of cardinality estimates is one of continuous improvement. Recent enhancements include the cardinality feedback mechanism, which in release 12 can be persisted to the data dictionary as SQL directives, adaptive execution plans, where Oracle can monitor the execution of the statement and switch plan during the execution, generating extended statistics, again, greatly improved in 12, and improved types of histogram. I've talked about all of these in previous tutorials, but sometimes not even these enhancements are enough to make sure that you do get the best possible plans. One way to fix inaccurate cardinality estimates is optimizer dynamic sampling. You can almost view this as being a hacker's technique. There's no need to use your brain, you just do it. It was introduced in release nine, no real change, until we get to the current release. In earlier releases, it could be set to a value from 0 to 10, defaulting to level 1 in 9i and to level 2 in 10g and 11g. But now, in 12c, we have a new level. We can set optimizer dynamic sampling to 11. And of great importance, this 12c new feature has in fact been backported to 11g but only to the terminal release. So you have this facility available as long as you are running on release 11.2.0.4 or later. What does it do? Dynamic sampling occurs at parse time. It lets the optimizer take a quick look at the data to check those critical estimates and come up perhaps with a superior plan. Let's look at it in action. I'll set up the problem by creating a simple table. Create table T1 as select star from all objects. Then, to give the optimizer a chance, analyze it. Execute DBMS stats, gather table stats for my table T1, and I'm going to build up histograms on all columns where there is a skew. So, what stats do we now have? Select column name, how many nulls, how many distinct values, if there's a histogram, how many buckets from user tab calls for the columns of my table. And we get some nice information. Note that I have enabled the 12C hybrid histograms. These are much more accurate than the older height balance histograms you will see in release 11, but they still aren't always good enough, especially if, like your typical hacker DBA, I do not take the trouble to adjust the number of buckets from default. We can now go to over 2,000 buckets per histogram. Now, I'll run a simple query with dynamic sampling on the default. The default is level two, which is what I see on most databases that we work on. I'll enable the auto trace facility so we can see what the optimizer thinks. And now a query with a simple predicate. Select count star from T1 where created greater than sys date. Zero rows returned. Okay, but here's the bad news. Oracle expected 54 rows. Remember how to read an execution plan? We're doing a full scan of the table T1. And after applying the predicate, Oracle expects that many rows to be returned. Now, 
Zero rows returned, 54 expected. That doesn't sound too bad, but multiply it up to the real world. You might well find that you get 100 rows returned, and Oracle expected 100,000. That is going to totally distort the execution plan. Those critical decisions, join order, join method, and access method, the cost-based optimizer is going to make bad mistakes. And dynamic sampling on level two did not help. Now, anyone who spends time with me tuning SQL will know that I always emphasize that creating extended statistics can solve a huge number of execution problems. Well, your hacker DBA isn't going to create extended stats, but you may well do this. Alter system set, optimize their dynamic sampling equal four. Try it and rerun the query. No difference at all. Raising the dynamic sampling has not fixed the problem of that incorrect estimate. I'll explain why it didn't help in just a moment. Because what I want to do next is enable the new feature. I'll set dynamic sampling to 11 and run my query. Look at that. Zero rows returned, one row expected. That's as good as it gets. And why is it so accurate? Because dynamic stats are used with the auto sampling level. We have fixed the problem. This is going to solve a multitude of performance issues. We'll finish off with a bit more detail about the sampling levels. The default is level two. Oracle will sample 64 blocks of the table if the table has no statistics. That's going to be useless. All tables should have statistics from release 10 onwards, unless the DBA has deliberately disabled the auto tasks that gather them. Of course, those stats may be wildly wrong, but they will be there, so no sampler. Until now, I always used to set dynamic sampling to four. This allows Oracle to sample if the query predicate involves two or more columns, or if it involves a column wrapped in a function. In effect, level four gives you extended stats without you needing to define the extensions. This may well give you spectacular performance improvements, and I've never known it's a cause of problem. But it certainly didn't help in the example I gave earlier, which was a simple predicate. Enter level 11. This has two massive benefits. First, it permits the optimizer to sample whenever this may be necessary and, as you saw, it fixed the problem in my test case. Secondly, if you are using release 12, the results of the sampling can be persisted to the data dictionary in the form of a SQL directive and are therefore available for all queries subsequently. These improvements are potentially massive. Setting optimizer dynamic sampling to 11 must be best practice for all databases from 11.204 onwards. Log on to your database and do it now.